Welcome to Linux Cell Tutorial. Uh, we are going to see about the installation and basic configuration of Invention Carpet Server Tool. This is a server which consists of so many services like Mail, Zambashare, and Nagios, and so on. Here you can add different computers and manage them. Now let me see about the installation of the Invention Carpet Server. Let's download the UCS from official site and make it as bootable and while booting you will get a window like this here select start with manual network settings and here select a language and select your location and select the keyboard key map to use If your network interface is connected to a DHCP server, it will be automatically assigned. If not, give your static IP address. I am giving here. And give continue. And netmask. And the gateway you want. And now give your DNS. And giving here Google DNS. And give continue and set your root password and set your root password which compromise the, the above set requirements that is any mixture of letters numbers and punctuations and re-enter the password to verify and you continue in case you have entered any details by mistake you can go to the index page at any time by go back option here you can see all the options and you can select any option you want now we are at partitioning and here is my virtual disk and select your disk and give continue and give us to create new empty partitions and continue and now select the free space and continue create a new partition you can give continue or you can double click on this and first I am giving for boot partitioning I am giving 500 MB so just to give 500 if you want to give in size in GB you have to mention capital G first I am giving 500 MB so I am giving 500 and continue and primary partitions continue and from where I have to start the partitioning so select beginning and give continue and now select the mount point slash boot and give continue and verify these settings ext4 type and mount point slash boot and give done setting of the partition and next select free space and give continue and again and now I'm giving swap memory I am giving here 3 GB so give 3 and G give continue and logical and beginning and now select the swap here it is swap area and give continue and done setting up the partition and remaining 23 GB you can double click and giving the full disk space to this last partitioning so give primary and slash next 4 and give done continue and confirm the partitioning you have made and select finish partitioning and write changes to disk give continue and again for confirmation give us this may take some time to continue after that installation you will get a domain setup page here select create a new UCS domain and give next and enter your organization name and give here and give here a valid email address for activation purpose 
and give next and enter here your fully qualified domain name and give next and here select the software package which you want to include in this UCS invention corporate server you can also skip this step and you can install the required packages after completing the installation of UCS here I am selecting the required packages and this desktop environment if you need you can select and virtualization mail server and I guess print server and proxy server but you can also select this give next here you can see the packages which we have selected and the domain and host configuration and also the organization name and the email address we mentioned earlier and you can check this or uncheck this box if you check this box once installation is completed it will automatically search for update and next give configure system it takes nearly 30 minutes to complete now we have completed the setup successfully give finish to reboot the system now the system is completely booted and you can see it asks for username and password now we are able to see this graphical version because we have selected the package KDE desktop environment if we didn't select this KDE desktop environment we will get an interface like this and here you have to enter the username as administrator and password which we entered earlier and this is the KDE desktop environment of Univention corporate server and it consists of web server file manager and server administration and now let me see by calling this this server from a remote web console for that now just enter the IP address of the UCS this is HTTP connection for secure connection you have to give HTTPS or click this link give advanced and add exception and click confirm security exception and you will get a page like this here you can change the password of the server and here you can reset it you can see the color difference which is both are blue because these two comes under the category web services and this is for administration here all comes on the color coding on color category of green now select system and domain settings and enter the username as administrator and password which we entered earlier and this is the web console page of the UCS that is UMC Invention Management Console here is a request enable one time statistic on hardware configuration if you wish to send the hardware configuration of your machine to the UCS you can give this check or you can uncheck this and now you have to upload the license file the license file is mailed to your registered mail id you can go there and download it and you can upload here now i'm going to upload my license file go to upload and here is my license file click open and give next and give finish to complete the startup wizard now you have successfully licensed this UCS and here you can see favorites favorite is nothing but the recent applications which is used by you you can see each one has different color coding so when you click on user this icon is yellow color and all the subcategories comes under in yellow color and similarly 
device red color and all these categories comes red color and likewise everything has a unique color coding so here you can users you can create groups users and you can change password for the current users and in devices here you can see Nagios monitoring tool and here you can add printers and here you can add computers and so on and you can click on this back to overview button to go to the UMC page and in domains you can see active directory take over DHCP and LDAP mail network shares and so many options in systems you can see certificate settings hardware information the next it will show some more information here it shows the CPU and the memory a number of CPUs used and the network adapter name graphics card name and so on at any time you can click on this back to overview page to go to the invention management console page and here you can see the statistic the usage of the load as per day week wise and month wise and also year wise and memory usage and also swap usage also and I'm giving back the overview in the top of the left corner you can see different tabs which we used recently if we close this tab this one will be closed otherwise it will be remain at the top we can switch it from one to the other easily and also to main menu and that's all about UCS in this session you will see more in the next session thank you